What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with something a little bit different here. We are going to be looking at the Divine Edition today. Going to be taking a look at the Roman Gods. For those of you who do not know, this is a uh, kind of new... It's been around for a hot minute now, but a kind of new mod that is aiming to add a whole bunch of civilizations to Age of Mythology. As of today, the Eldritch are playable, the Aztecs are playable, and the Romans are playable. Everything else is not really ready just yet, but uh, I imagine it'll be made over the course of however long it takes to make a civilization, which I've got really no idea. But we're going to be playing as Minerva now from the Roman faction. Uh, the unique part about, I don't know if you can actually see oh, this. Uh, 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 maybe you can. No. Okay, so it doesn't work. So the unique part about the Romans is that you don't get favor. You don't get myth units. And all your units are a bit stronger. Uh, so we're going to be playing against the Titan AI. We're not allowed to attack the Titan AI until we're in the Mythic Age. Uh, because I want to be making sure that I check out this civilization uh, to some to some degree. Uh, but let's... Uh, Let's make this thing happen here. So we're going to jump in, play Titan AI, and uh, see how we go here with Minerva. So we start out with uh, with some villagers here. And we're going to drop our thingy there. And we're just going to play this game. We get ourselves a scout, which is the spec. I don't even know that is speculatoris. We're going to be checking around, and we're going to drop ourselves another resource depot. It looks like... You get, uh, so for the, for the economy here, for the Romans, oops, I'm not building villages. Um, for the economy for the Romans, it seems to be kind of similar to the Chinese in that you get one depot that works for every single different location. And you get some epic music going on, which I don't believe I can turn down. Let me just see if it comes down. No. If I hit allow music volume and I turn this down no doesn't want to work all right so that's fine I'm gonna come over here drop another thing down I'm gonna be going for the gold as well and checking around the scout here has got a fairly low amount of line of sight compared to like say the Katoska boss so it's gonna be a little bit of a more difficult time to, to find resources and the like uh, we've got a lot of fun in our main base, so I reckon we're going to start just with that. We've also got some decent hunt over here. We've found our town centers, and that's going to be good as well. The buildings we have to build, that's going the wrong way. Let's just kill this over here and walk over here with the next dudes. There's this world where maybe I can come over here and reset this giraffe. So actually, let's try and start, do that over there as we come over onto this position here and drop ourselves a uh, another one of these things. That might be enough. It might not be. I don't know. Gonna have to drop a house here. We'll do that. Oh, we have to check out our god power. So our god power as Minerva actually allows us to advance a little bit faster in the game. Uh, it allows you to advance at 48 seconds or 24 seconds or 9 seconds to the Mythic Age. So you can get uh, a big, big edge where that's concerned. I'm going to start sending some villagers over to wood because I think uh, we should be thinking about getting ourselves a second town center early in this one. Just do the rule constraints. We want to be getting as many resources as we can so we can defend ourselves and all the good stuff. Um, temple is up. Let's see if we can get ourselves like a 4.30 advance time-ish. Okay, you come over here. We should have enough resources. Keep scouting. This guy doesn't really have much damage in the early game here. 120 HP, 6.05 speed. So he's quite a bit faster than the Kotoska boss, actually. All right, so we've got two civilizations to pick, or two two uh, gods to pick from here. We've got Apollo and we've got Diana. So this is going to give Apollo cloaks to enemy town center and illness infecting all those who come too close and causing them to emit clouds of disease. 
We've also got a uh, attack of the deer. Diana sends her herd of deer to charge through enemy ranks, dealing damage to anything in its path. Diana gives this extra hunt bonus. This gives us extra help to our archers. Um, so this is giving us patron of hunting. So this gives us a bonus to hunt. And this is going to make our buildings fire arrows more. So this looks like the one we want to go for at this point. Apollo makes all, all human soldiers move slightly faster. Is a really big technology to grab. Quite expensive though. 75 food, 220 gold. But uh, we also get the sun shines behind your archers. Giving them better resistance to arrows. So let's go with this one. Even if the uh, other one seems like it might be a bit better. And we need to get ourselves a little bit more resources here. This is going to be finishing up. I might try and grab this middle town center here, I think. Alright, pop over here. I wonder if I can lure that lion in as well. Might be a, a vibe. Our opponent is through Tar here. Now we do get actually two two economic village, villages here. This one is far better at economic tasks than military ones. And this one is far better at military tasks than economic ones. You can also repair siege with this unit. What that means is that the military engineer can build military buildings much, much faster. So I'm actually going to build one in order to build myself a military building right off the bat. I'm going to send my villagers forward to drop a town center straight away. And pull my uh, scout back home. I'm going to drop ourselves this town center over here. Get ourselves our dude Reno out, and then we're going to go straight back into building villages. Uh, I also find it quite amusing that the villager says winnable, whether or not that's actually what that means or not, I don't know, but uh, we're going to get ourselves barracks. What does this thing do? This is causing our siege units to be far more accurate. I don't care about that at the moment. Need to get some more. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. We get ourselves some more gold. There's another building that unlocks here as well. You get this Temple of Diana. You get that for every single uh, god that you go yes. through. And if we take a look at this, this summons deer over time. So that's actually a, a pretty decent thing to be, to be grabbing, to be honest. So I'm going to be trying to build that fairly soon as well. I might grab it straight away. And I want to be getting myself the other building straight away as well. Uh, okay, we get this up. You guys are going to come over here and drop this. You are going to be building me this. Okay, so pause. We get some units to pick from in this uh, in this Legion barracks. You get yourself the Legionary, which is a very, very strong unit. 60 food, 60 gold, 3 population, 120 HP, 11 hack damage. Uh, that's a lot of hack and pierce armor as well. Very, very strong. The scout here is... Much, much weaker, but 6.05 speed. Very, very cheap. Ha eight hack damage. It looks very similar to a raiding cavalry, but cheaper. You get the Velite here, or Velite. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a light and fast counter archer. I don't particularly like counter archers generally, so we're going to probably avoid building that one. And you get the Imperator Hero. A hero that inspires his men with a rousing cry. Does 16 hack damage, 5 population, and costs a whopping 150 food, 220 gold. Uh, we're going to be rolling with some Legionaries here, but as you can see, we're going to need a lot more gold to uh, actually be able to afford those. Uh, so let's be relatively careful here. We're going to move back into our base, I think, and get ourselves this uh, upgrade here. And we're going to make sure we're still getting ourselves a whole bunch of resources. This is now up. And remember this guy, he can actually jump onto the, uh, onto the pigs here as well. So we also have this thing here, which is archer safety. We've also got this thing here, which is patrons of hunting. I will be grabbing that technology. And I reckon we'll move over here and grab ourselves some uh, some deer on that side as well as we start getting the resources to make ourselves legionaries as we are getting attacked. Well, let's uh, let's retreat back. And seeing as we're getting attacked by Axemen, I think we're going to have to pull back into our, our base and build ourselves some units that are going to be able to help us here. We do have ourselves Manes here, whoever that is. I don't know why he's here, but he's here. And we'll see if we can hold this initial attack at this point. 
Um, we've got a lot of villagers on gold here, and we might need a little bit more. So it looks like we're able to hold here fa fairly easily. As apparently, we prey along, uh, uh, up on the weak. I need to continue building these villages here. Now, how much do you actually cost? This big bad hero, I want to see how good he is. He only costs 150 food, so we'll get that relatively soon. Um, i got a lot of gold here. Oh, and here's our deer that comes out of this location as well. So we can actually be eating that throughout the game, which seems very, very strong. Let's do this. Let's drop our house. Feels very uh, set-like even. We get, a, we get set, set units. So I want to build this Imperator here. Look how slowly he builds. Alrighty. So that takes a very long time to come out there. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of resources to play with, I think. Let's come over onto this. Start getting ourselves some more upgrades here. More houses. We are getting attacked again. Um, shall we take a look at what this God Power does? No, we shall not because he has attacked us with rain. Alright, let's see if we can't not hold onto ourselves over here. As uh, he's also got him, he's also got this uh, this wadget over here, which is very very strong. So let's pull back in. I'm gonna need another military building, I think. Where's our where's our military builder? We got two of them over here. Let's try and build this. If we can get that out. As we are under a lot of pressure here from the uh, Titan AI. We do have this gold mine over here we can jump onto if we need, but let's just pull in here and enjoy the defense as best as we possibly can, trying to get everything out. Now, we can get this uh, building steal extra damage thing, so I wouldn't mind doing that. And let's get back into our legionaries. We've also got this unit here, the Optio. Now, 100% what that is, as we get our, our Deuterino out, and we take a look over here at Optio. Can't, we can't actually see him yet. I believe that he basically is a unit you can only get once you have enough legionaries i could be wrong about that but i believe that's how he works um i'm not sure what makes him special but you can get him a little bit later i think uh let's get this we have a lot of food at the moment uh, let's get ourselves a little bit more gold here as our opponent is now in the heroic age making everything very scary for us Come up here. Okay, so let's get some more legionaries. Is he still making axemen? Yes, he is. So let's actually get these spectacles as well. We'll go. We'll go for as many different types of units as we possibly can here. We'll drop ourselves an armory as well. Let's get this thing on this. Let's get some more of these military buildings here. Where did our Where did our dudes go here? So let's get some more of these barracks things. We got this guy coming in now, and he is a big, big. Scary dude, that's for sure. He is tanking a lot. He's speedy at six speed, so we can run away with him as well. At this point, our army seems like it's very small, but it's holding nicely. We could definitely have a lot more houses up here and be in a much better position if we were spending our resources. Alrighty. But we are, and that's fine as well. <laughs> uh, do we have any deers? Okay, we do have these deers here as well, so we can take off this and come over and eat the deers that are coming through here. All right, let's continue getting ourselves... Oh, we can get an Optio now. Okay. We'll be able to see what that is fairly soon. Uh, I might go for my next town center here as well. Keep getting houses. I'm trying to hold here. Doing as best as we can. We finished up on this gold mine, so let's move over here. And potentially let's move over here as well. I do need to make sure we get ourselves a storage camp over on that position to get some more houses. We've already got the houses coming down. Let's move over onto this line here. We've also got this Roman Eagle, which I'm not sure what it does, but let's just run him around. Apparently that's a thing. I did not even notice that that was there. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's try this thing. Let's see what happens here. Well, that was kind of... <laughs> it's just a deer. <laughs> Alright. No worries. Did we get ourselves the dude yet? Optio? Where is he? What's Optio? Superior Legion. More expensive. Can only be built for... Uh, if you have enough Legionaries. 
Okay. I don't know what that means, but it's a thing. Okay, so now we got this town center as well. Um, we've got these deer over here. Continuing to eat these deer seems like it'd be very, very difficult. So let's start farming as well. Oh, we can get quarry and bowsaw. We're in the classical age. Let's start doing that. And let's get ourselves some archer upgrades here as well. And just to show you why you don't want to build with the plebeians. Take a look at how slow this builds. Versus uh, how, how fast it builds with these guys. These guys build a lot faster. We also get ourselves irrigation here, which is kind of a big deal. I should rebuild this... Uh, Resource depot, I guess. Alright, so we're just gonna stop building that because it takes absurdly long. Um, we get ourselves the next upgrade on our arches. Uh, maybe we want to be advancing here as well. So what we can try here is... Okay, we, we, we've got two choices here. We've got in... I can't even pronounce it. In Sandium or whatever that is. Vulcan whips up a wildfire around one of your own towns and is protecting it. The fires leave you and your allies unharmed. So I'll be able to use that to defend myself here. Uh, you also get the Hastas Olympi, which is a 400 gold, gives your spe makes your spears do more damage. And this is the Sword of Olympus, which makes your swords do more damage. Then over here we have Venus, who is giving us the great fertility. Venus blesses your empire with... Fecundity. I can't, I don't know Latin, so whatever. Um, for three minutes, villagers and military engineers train faster. So that is just the kind of, I mean, maybe you could probably like fast heroic and then also use this god power to get faster heroic. Use this to pump out your villagers for three, three minutes or something. It'd be pretty good. This gives you the strength to make your plebeians gather resources faster. And crown your leaders with myrtle crowns, causing them to be both stronger and faster. Okay, we will go with the um, the guy that looks like he's out of um, that superhero m movie. What's it called? Something with... He's like a water dude. Anyways, we'll go for this. And we'll actually use... Let's use this god power and see what happens with that. Um, I don't really want these guys anymore. Get me more legionaries. Because he is no longer building those axemen anymore. Can we get... We can't get ourselves irrigation. Oh, it's flood control. Now we can. Okay. So we've held. Can we get ourselves a... Yes, we can. It's very expensive. We can build it. Okay, let's move these guys over here and we're going to start thinking about building ourselves a palace of some variety here. Okay, so we're full villagers, but can we not just keep keep building dudes? Where's where's my where'd my dudes go? There, I want to get myself this, and I want to get myself that last temple thing, whatever that is. Okay, uh, let's get our farms down. Okay. Farms are all down. Let's get ourselves this uh, fortified town center here. What was this upgrade here? We can get ourselves medium infantry. Seems like not a bad idea. And this, I can use this on my town center to help kill these guys. Okay, so we get a scorpion and we get ourselves a covered ram. I want to see what the scorpion is, so let's start getting that. It is very weird to see all these like unique upgrades not costing anything. So this is the spears, and we are building with spears, so I think that using that is a good idea. Let's send these guys over onto this. Um, maybe get some more legion barracks as well. They seem good. Do we get fortified town census? We did. We got a couple of more of these mains dudes. Okay. Wait. 
Medium? What does that mean? That just costs more resources to turn these guys into stronger dudes? I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, so we get ourselves the Scorpion. It does 2 damage, 9 pierce, and 5 crush. We'll get the Covered Ram as well. I want to get myself whatever those are. This doesn't give me more... What was this? Siege units to be far more accurate. Wonderful. In this building, we've got now the Equitus, which can be promoted to a Decurion, which I don't understand what that is. And this Discipline of the Prefects allows Centurion to train directly. Okay, we can get more of those heroes. Let's just get ourselves our upgrades here. Build a market in the corner. So we start a trade route. It seems like we can get ourselves, yeah, we can get ourselves champion upgrades in the um, in the heroic age, which is kind of a big deal, because it means advancing to the mythic age is much much less important. It would seem. I don't know what you get for advancing to the mythic age. I'm getting raided over here. That is a big raid. Let's run this way. Maybe these guys can just jump onto this. And we can get ourselves this upgrade. Um, and this is also acting as an armory of some description. That's wild. With the armory as well. So we get our market up. Maybe start walling this one up. We can see what the walls look like as well by upgrading those. I think everyone has kind of unique walls in a way. I'm not actually sure about, about that for this Civ, but... We have all our upgrades... Seems good. Let's try and go to the Mythic Age here now. So we've got two more gods to pick from. We've got the uh, Hearth Place Flame. Target a town center to heal it instantly with Vestas Flame and keep it fully healed for a whole minute. Penetrates all god power blocking effects. So this completely counters things like Tornado, Earthquake, Meteor, all that stuff. This is a uh, Rura Florentia. Florentia. Uh, blesses your farms with a wealth of flowers, causing each farm to generate free food, wood, and gold. Well, we're going to be going for that one. What does this do? Blesses your houses, running them much more resistant to attacks. Don't care. The eternal flame of Rome causes all your legion units to do more damage to myth units. That's actually a really helpful, I guess. It's a better diet gives your legions more hit points. It's obviously very good. Wood harvested from Sirius' own groves makes your siege weapons more resistant to Attack. Okay, so Siege is stronger. We'll go for this one. Because the other one doesn't seem very fun. Considering we're probably not going to get... Not going to have too many issues this game, I don't think, with uh, with things attacking us. But we are going to get to the Mythic Age here, which should mean good things. We'll get this upgrade as well. The stone walls to see what happens with our walls. Well, I dealt with that raid. Move back over here. The champion units don't look very champion here. It's one one little critique. Where's my gold units? That's what I want to know. Uh, these guys can come back over here. Uh, what was this thing? Scorpions do similar more damage to myth units. Okay, so scorpions can actually be a counter to myth units in, of some, in some way. We should probably get ourselves some more upgrades here. We can use this temple to get ourselves bronze mail, which is nice. Oh, was not paying attention. Let's keep getting ourselves champion legionaries. We've also got this thing over here now. Uh, should we get ourselves another one, of, another couple of these things? I reckon. Because my army got absolutely destroyed here by his. Some more scorpions, maybe. Let's see if we can get some of those guys, some of these guys. What was this thing? This is generates wealth around my farm. So if I use it here, okay. And we get this last temple. So let's throw that down. This is trying to push through me and he is doing a fantastic job of it. I need to get some more villagers over onto gold here. I'm going to get gold starved. Over right here, drop that. Pop this down on this thing. Okay. 
we still don't have anything more to grab from this, so we'll just get our upgrades out. The armory upgrades train instantly from this temple. They train instantly. Look at this. That's wild. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's wild. Okay, so now our units are fully upgraded. That's nice. Oh, there's also some more stuff out of uh, out of here that we haven't looked at. What is this? Do cavalry fast and good against archers. Champion cavalry auxi lance throwing archers on house, but good against archers and infantry. Well, let's get ourselves some some of that action. I don't know where my 70, 170 pop came from, but apparently I have 170 pop here. Let's come over here and try and kill this off. Oh, he's attacking us again, so let's kill his stuff. How many upgrades do you have? You got some decent upgrades there. Uh, so we do have this thing now as well. This was... We definitely want that one. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just get, I guess we just get both. And get this upgrade as well. What did our walls look like? Our walls are just like Greek walls, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how much you like Greek walls. Let's see if the towers look the same. I imagine they do. They already kind of look the same with the... I think all towers look like that, actually. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Why do I have an idle caravan? Stop being idle. Okay, come over here. Uh, apparently these guys deal some damage. They just killed off that town center. I did not mean to kill the town center. <laughs> do you cost a population? You totally cost a population. You have to be on top of your idle military checking for those those deers. Let's keep getting these upgrades here. Uh, what else can we get here in this game? What else are we missing? I think that's kind of everything. The wonder. Oh, we can build a wonder soon. So let's throw that down. Oh, it's just a it's just a Hades wonder. That's fine. We'll we'll chuck the Hades wonder down. We got no rush to, to kill that off. Oh, we, the towers do look different. Look at that. Um. That town center is getting built very fast, and I do not like it. Yeah, we put a stop to that. I think I might be over -econ economized here in some way, shape, or form. It builds very, very slowly. <laughs> Let's regroup just a little bit. I need some more wood income or something. I got so much food here for no real reason. Okay, so our guard towers look very guard tower-ish. It's very nice. Let's try and pop this down in front of them. What's this over here? How dare you distract me? Oh, the military dude can't build the the thing? Wait, it builds a different one. This is a this is very different. I am confused. Hold on. Send these guys over here then and we'll build and we'll and we'll I don't even know. I don't know anymore. Wait, what's happening over here? Are we winning? Honest, I don't know. I don't know if we're winning or not. They got the town center up! No! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, run away. Uh, let's just build some more towers then, hey? Okay, 
Quidditch a Grun Solam. My dude's back over here. Actually, attack him. Get the thing here. Do the stuff. One of my idle villages. I don't need gold anymore, so we could probably yes. take these guys off of this and just start throwing villages to the uh, to their death. Was I still getting? I I do have my my hero here. He does cost five populations, quite a lot. This opponent of mine is uh, taking advantage. Let's try and use this god power now. Zom. We are zoming him. He is getting zommed. How much damage does it do? I, I Honestly, I've got no idea what my, what that god power is doing. It's trying to do something. I don't know what. Oh, we can get the Roman Onager now. Let's go. I should probably try and kill these things, hey? Oh, it's through Osiris, no. Okay. I'll try and... Oh, the uh, the doggy caravans look kind of cool. I don't know how many caravans i got here, so let's just get a couple more as I'm trying to kill my dudes, my villagers off here. As I run in to try and kill this here. I need to find an advantage population wise here to beat this guy, it would seem. And seeing as we got a billion resources. So, what, what haven't I built here? Champion anti cavalry infantry. Good against little else. He doesn't have any. Well, he's got the champion elephants, but. Not sure I'm too worried about that. And then this is good against archer, good against infantry. Cavalry fast, good against archers. I think I was building that though, right? This mate, this this unit here is good against archers and infantry. So if I okay, it gets absolutely melted. That's fine. Uh oh, son of Osiris is coming. Don't like that. Okay. Oh, my hero is dead. I spent so long trying to get him, and he just did not live. More towers. Okay. And. I guess we can get ourselves the town center now. I'm not sure. I feel like these uh, these scorpions said they were counter infant uh, counter siege to some degree, but that could have been me misre misremembering quite hard. Oh, the Kopesh are coming! What else am I missing here, if anything? Uh, omniscience got everything there. Uh, what was this again? Discipline the... Oh, the... I don't know what that is, but I guess we should research it to, to see. Um, now we get a little bit more to play with. So our units here... I mean, the champion legion has got 19.25 attack, which is quite a lot. Now, wonder is uh, almost finished. Look, I need a couple more villages on this on this wood line over here. Why, why aren't my these buildings over here in a control group? What moving to the front? Can we kill this guy? No, he's he's too strong. He's building the the Kopesh. He knows. He knows how strong these bad boys are. Let's see if we can't not get in here and kill this guy off.
Ah, the micro. Send your son of Osiris to his death. Yes, that's what we like to see. I don't know why I've got so much um, food in the bank. I've only got 22 villages on it. Maybe I'm not spending it at all. I guess we should keep pushing forward with towers at this point. We have another Imperator hero. Look at him go. For, for all of that damage he does. Look at his H. Look at his health. Look at his armor. He is one strong dude. Wait, he started a wonder? I'm about to finish my wonder though. Wait, where's his... Oh no. Is he going to beat me? He's going to totally beat me with a wonder. This guy knows. Oh, we can go for the Titan Age for free. Well, will that not for free without the uh, without the favor requirement? I wonder what the Titan looks like. Okay. We got the Wonder up. It looks like a Hades Wonder, but that's fine. Did I end up getting this upgrade? No. <clears throat> All right. Keep pushing forward with our towers and our siege and our units. Should find somewhat of an advantage here. Can we pick off this mummy visor? Kind of looks kind of sick. Look at him. I don't think I've seen that model before. That might be part of the mod or something. So these, these scorpions actually do a decent job at dealing with myth units. They're supposed to have... How much range do they have? 18 range. It's not that much range. Okay, we got ourselves that uh that Titan gate. Let's let's chuck that down. I, I, I can I can hunt here and it's faster, right? Just take those villages off and when they go idle you're you can uh, just put them back onto farms or something. Uh, he chased me down fast. You almost got that wonder up before I did. <laughs> it is it is a uh, Titan though, I guess. Where are they? I find this happens to me all the time. Wait, what are these things? Wait, where is that from? Yeah, honor at honor and glory allows the gates to be trained. What's a legate? Legate. A legate? I don't know. I feel like I'm missing quite a bit about some of these technologies that allow you to train stuff. Because it's so... That kind of a technology is like very, very... Um, what's the word? It, it's not... It's not... It doesn't happen in age mythology. You don't... There's not a technology that you can research that allows you to train a unit. Technologies give you extra stats. Technologies give you, I don't know, just stuff in general, but they don't let you train units very... I don't think there's anything that does that in the original game. So it's just confusing to see that as a technology. I mean, there's a legate there, but I, I need to do what to get him out? I don't know. You can only get so many of those optios as well. Do I need a whole bunch of imperators? I can get only four or five Imperators out. But they got so much population, you're never going to get that many out. So those guys finished up on the, uh, on the, on the hunt there pretty quickly, and then you just put them back to the farms. So you can kind of do it that way if you so choose. What are you guys doing over here? Get over here. Uh, what else did we miss? I think that's everything with this Civ. Apart from seeing what the Titan looks like. It's pretty- I mean, I think this Civ is pretty cool. I don't know how balanced it is. Obviously, the- the raw army here seemed to trade pretty well against the, um... Considering it's a- not really controlled very well by the Titan. Seemed to trade pretty well against this army. 
So the stats might be correct. I don't know. Kill off this tower over here as well. Send my dudes forward. Hey, okay, town center is up. You have a lot of resources is the only thing. I don't know if that's just because reasons or if the economy is just really strong. Time's almost out. Um, I can get these levy upgrades. I think that'd probably actually be pretty good considering the units take so long to train. Did I end up getting the up the other? Oh, that's why I haven't gotten up yet. I haven't gotten up one of these, um, one of these Seistrum Pretorias. See if we can send some villagers forward. Actually, I'll just build it over here. I don't particularly need it on the front. I just need to see what it does. Uh, the Titan is still looking a little bit like the uh, the Greek Titan, unfortunately. Obviously, the, the mod is still in production, so not everything is there. Uh, yeah, the last thing... Well, let, me, let me see what this is, please. Uh, can we get ourselves this upgrade? Temple of Diana. I think it doesn't matter. Curse you! I spent a lot of resources on that wonder. I know you did. Um, okay, so we wanted this one here. Champion thingy. Is that, is that a hero? It's not a hero. You can build as many of those as you like. Champion Centurion. I don't know what that is, but I can build him. It takes a long time to build, like everything else. This looks like a Migdol. As it's going up. Let me kill that over there. Get my... Get my thingamajiggy out. So you get the champion Praetorian. You get the scorpion man. This is just basically exactly the same. Does it have different stats? Has a lot more armor. A lot more armor. It's exactly the same. Except it gives an extra thing. Strange. Don't understand why. Okay. Uh, he's not going to resign now. I want him to resign now. Uh, what else is here? Is it just the... I think it is. I think it is just the market. Alright. So, all in all... I mean, in terms of what a, a civilization should do, it kind of... I think that the, the, these extra temple things are kind of cool. I think that all the units are kind of cool. You don't... I, I feel a little bit overwhelmed with all of the units in the one building. I think that they... I think that you could actually chuck some of these units into, say, the temple. Because there's nothing here after you get the technologies. You could trade the units out of the temple or something, even if it's not, like, law, law correct. Especially like the hero could come out of the temple, like um, Imperator, Legate, the champion, Decurion, this standard bearer dude, whatever. But uh, I mean, it's the quality is kind of high here on this one. I don't know how strong these gold powers are, but I think the idea is that Rome has kind of left their gods in the, uh, in the dust or they're just trying to steal other people's gods so the gods don't really favor them that much. Therefore, they need to be stronger in other regions, such as um, like this unit here being 19 hack damage, three population unit, which is possibly around about the the the, uh, the value of Fnatic, but you can get it in the early ages of the game. You also get these uh, 11 damage or seven damage archers here, which are a little bit stronger than a Toxodi. So you 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 kind of have just a slightly stronger army for the. Uh, for the thing but a fun fun civilization uh we're going to try and check out one or two of the other civilizations now so hopefully you guys enjoy this type of video we'll jump into one with uh one of the other ones here thanks for watching if you enjoyed please leave a comment hit the follow button and i'll see you guys in the next game